Start with WFMY News 2's Kevin Kennedy, who joins us live in Charlotte, where just like Julie said, UNC is moving on to the next round. Kevin. Yeah, good afternoon, guys from Charlotte, where, as you mentioned, the North Carolina Tar Heels basically took care of business. It was really basically a home game for the North Carolina Tar Heels playing here in Charlotte, just up the road from where they typically play in Chapel Hill. As you would imagine, the Spectrum Center packed with North Carolina fans, and that includes one man who's often referred to as Mr. Tar Heel. Earlier this week, we got a chance to catch up with Greg Colley and find out why he is truly a North Carolina super fan. Step inside Greg Colley's home. Parents were Carolina fans, and so, you know. And it's like walking into a museum of UNC athletics. It's a lot of fun to have this stuff, and it's interesting, and a lot of the pieces that I've got have been given to me over the years. His house filled with Carolina memorabilia. That's a lot of stuff, and that's a lot of stuff to dust. There's an entire room dedicated to his favorite school. The room originally was the carport like a, a non-enclosed garage in the house. Look around and you'll see items from 10 decades, including this 1926 football program, an autographed basketball from the Roy Williams era, and a section of the floor from the old Woolen Gymnasium. Just knowing that the 1957 National Championship team played on that court. His fandom starting back in the late 1960s, his first basketball game a few years later. So it was East Tennessee State at Carmichael, and it was... 74, 75 season. Cauley has ticket stubs from almost every basketball and football game he's ever been to, and that's a lot of games. You only get so many opportunities in life to do things, and if you find something that interests you, then you don't miss a chance. Every figurine or photo, autograph, or banner comes with a memory, thousands of them. It's something that looking back, I wouldn't trade. I wouldn't have done it any other way. A UNC grad from 1976, Collie is what most would consider a UNC super fan. If all this isn't proof enough, how about this? He has a replica of the old well in his backyard. I got some serious issues. He also has an impressive streak going. Collie has seen 580 consecutive home basketball games starting in 1983. If we're playing at home, I'm there. If we're playing away, then I'm watching it and I have to be in my seat with my glass of tea beside me. Collie has watched his beloved Tar Heels play some sport or another in 33 states. But if you ask him, he'll tell you there's nothing super about his loyalty. By my definition, I'm a fan. I respectfully disagree. I mean, how many average fans would drive almost 200 miles to watch most every UNC home baseball game? He may not be the biggest UNC fan, but I bet he bleeds Carolina blue. Cut me and see. If you're ever at a UNC game, any game, look for Collie. He's most likely there wearing his favorite colors and rooting for his favorite team. Yeah, it's not easy to get tickets to an NCAA basketball game, even when it's just about two hours up the road. But if you think this North Carolina superfan was going to miss this game, You'd be crazy. Here's a picture of him earlier today outside the Spectrum Center. He's going to be back on Saturday once again rooting for his beloved Tar Heels with about five or 7,000 other North Carolina fans. We're live in Charlotte. I'm Kevin Kennedy, WFMY News 2.